Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. Uh, travel advisory for reproductive care would be provided under uh, Berzicelli bill. So Senator John Berzicelli introduced uh, uh, legislation that would establish a reproductive health travel advisory to provide New Jersey residents with information about restriction on, on reproductive health care in other states. I think in a post row world, this is very helpful. So basically, um, you know, we get uh, more than 100 pregnant women in medical distress who sought help in different states were turned away or negligently treated since 2022, according to an Associated Press analysis. Um, New Jersey's protected them. Other states have not. But uh, so if we look at what the actual thing would be, there'd be a, a, a map that's provided to people that's color coded and... Uh, I feel like they went with blue, yellow, and red because the map's already like mostly color coded blue and red. Mm -hmm. So like blue is exercise normal caution. Uh, people have access to all forms of reproductive medical care without fear of civil or criminal prosecution. So like if the electoral college map is already blue, then it's probably going to be blue on this map. And then red is reconsider travel, warning of extremely restricted access to reproductive health care that could result in adverse medical outcomes, individuals being subject to civil or criminal uh, prosecution, oh, well. and those seeking emergency medical treatment being denied potentially life-saving care due to state law. I feel like if you look at the Electoral College map, the red ones would stay red on this map. Mm. Yeah, anyway, New Jersey is uh, doing travel advisory. Or, well, hopefully doing travel advisory. Yellow will be in, uh, exercise increased caution, meaning restricted access to reproductive medical care that could result in civil or criminal prosecution. So one of the things I wanted to bring up with this is that I can't be the only person who has looked at what's going on in the States and actually changed vacation arrangements based on, I don't want to take my gender diverse kids to Florida right now mm -hmm. because that's not a very good environment for them to experience should the, like something come up like i like, think yeah like I, so like i have actually changed vacation plans like i would have gone to florida this past winter and spent a week there doing touristy stuff if they were not the shithole that they are when it comes to lgbtq rights because our family is, how did you describe it in your thing? It was Rainbow, Rainbow Sparkle. Rainbow Sparkle Neuro Spicy Family is our family. Rainbow Sparkle Neuro Spicy Family. Yeah. Um, and so I don't feel like that's a good fit for Florida. So we didn't go to Florida. Um, and you got states like, if this passes, there are going to be people that make vacation plans based on like, oh, I don't want to go to one of the red states where I could go to prison for having a medical emergency there and then getting health care for that medical emergency. So I'm going to go to one of the blue states because that's one where, like, I know I will be safe. I can I can definitely understand that perspective, uh, especially because you have kids involved. Like, that's it makes sense. It's not one that I necessarily share, but then again, the, the stakes are a lot lower for me. My well, my girlfriend that's, is that's the thing. Like I I will acknowledge that it probably would have been fine if I took my kids to Florida. Probably nothing would have happened. But the fact that there is a question about that, like it's probably it won't happen. I would rather go somewhere where it's like, no, they just don't care. Like, oh, you got yeah. non binary kids? Who fucking cares? Whatever. Give us your tourism dollars. We'll take it. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to vacation in a war zone. Why would you want to vacation in a red state? I again, I understand that perspective, but the the risk of a war zone is far higher than the risk of simply being inside a red state for an amount of time. I live yeah. inside a red state right now. I, when My we family lives split between two other red states. <laughs> when we flew to Mexico, I didn't want to stop in Texas, but I didn't really get a choice in the matter. Yeah. Randall says, even like, in a Waffle House. Okay, look, Waffle Houses are safe points. If you die in Georgia, you respawn at the last Waffle House you ate at. <laughs> they are safe so points. Low. 